Hey everyone, so for a long time now, I have been saying that 2018 is going to be the year of third-party games on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I technically have zero evidence to back this up. We don't have, like, zillions of game announcements. You know, we don't have, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty and New Assassin's Creed and Kingdom Hearts 3 and Resident Evil 7 and all these games that confirm coming to Switch, but I keep regaining confidence in my statement that 2018 is going to be the year of third parties on switch because of the how third parties are reacting to switch now it's no secret that nintendo has not exactly had great third party support for a long time they started losing this third party support during the n64 era when they stuck with cartridges when everyone else was moving on to the cheaper medium in discs and on top of that nintendo still maintained a lot of their early nintendo seal of quality policies which i'm sure as gamers you might think oh those policies are amazing but for third parties they were extremely restrictive and you could argue some of those policies still hold true to today but a lot of them have been uh kind of tossed aside to make the switch a more open and free platform on top of that uh nintendo kind of continued a trend of just releasing systems that were not enticing the third parties when nintendo finally did buy into optical media with a gamecube they went with mini discs which factually held less data and that meant having to cram their data into a smaller form or having to use several different discs and third parties just in general were not willing to deal with that and then obviously we had the wii where the other companies were going to the hd format nintendo kind of basically re-released and repackaged a gamecube uh, with motion controls now obviously this doesn't mean nintendo hasn't been successful in doing what they do but it hasn't been the kind of success that's driven third party companies to want to support them with their best foot forward and again this doesn't mean there weren't third party games on systems like we i mean got several versions of call of duty uh but there was a lot of games that we gamers missed out on uh if they only bought a wii because well nintendo's platform just couldn't factually handle it but here's the deal wii u obviously with its own story tanking again behind the times blah 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 but what is interesting about now with the nintendo switch and why i'm so confident about 2018 is because of statements like we're about to read now from Bethesda Game Studios. Bethesda had previously really never released a game on a Nintendo platform until Switch. And now, you know, <laughs> I mean, we just got Doom out there, Skyrim, Wolfenstein 2's on the way. Just awesome support from Bethesda. And here's what they said on Twitter on a tweet just yesterday. It says, we've been Nintendo fans forever of course i mean every game developer has probably been a nintendo fan at some point and it says when we first saw the switch we couldn't wait to be part of it okay excited by the concept here's the part i really want to focus on many thanks at nintendo america for all the support and encouragement hashtag skyrim switch this is great we know that nintendo of japan and nintendo of america both sent executives over to bethesda many eons ago at this point it might even happened late last year and i said hey what do we have to do to make your games work on our platform what do we have to do to bring to entice you to want to bring your content over they felt that bethesda was a key western studio that they should go after and i mean as gamers i gotta say thank you nintendo that's that's definitely a key studio you want you should be going after uh, i also feel you should go after 2k and the rockstar studio in particular I don't know if Red Dead Redemption 2 is something they can make work on Switch, but you know, just just going after these companies that usually don't release games on your platform are a positive. Like Grand Theft Auto 5 should be on Switch. But this is just really exciting to me because Bethesda's not just saying like, you know, they're so excited to bring their games over. They're thanking Nintendo for their support and encouragement to get those games out. When's the last time a major third party company came out on a social media platform it's like yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we just released a major game today. Thank you so much, like, platform holder, for your support and encouragement. When does that even happen? I mean, we're talking about a studio that they don't need Nintendo's money. They don't need Nintendo to swoop in and be like, hey, look, we're making this game possible, right? Like, you can see Platinum Games being like, hey, thanks, Nintendo, for making Bayonetta 2 a possibility. Because without Nintendo, Bayonetta 2 would have never happened. But, like... Even if without Nintendo encouraging them, you know, Doom, Skyrim, and Wolfenstein 2 might not have come to Switch, they didn't need Nintendo's money to make that decision. All they needed to see from Nintendo, in this case, was support and encouragement to get those kind of games on the platform. Because Bethesda, like many third-party companies, you know, out there probably thought, 
Why would we release our games on the Switch? Nintendo doesn't care if we ha to have these games. They've never shown interest in having these games. They don't attract the audience that wants to play these games. And then Nintendo comes in and be like, hey, look, we're trying to change that. We, we want to be a company that has these games. We want these games on our platform. We've never not wanted them, but we obviously have not done a good job uh, enticing companies like you to bring your games over. This, this I mean, I'm imagining this is how the conversation really went behind the scenes. You know, Just a big encouragement being like, look, we want your amazing third-party games on Switch. I mean, you're watching right now. I am playing Doom. That's right, Doom on Nintendo Switch right now because of stuff like this because nintendo reached out to these companies and was like look we really do want your games we want to change this perception uh that we're just a family you know a family company a family system we want to really be for everyone and we realize we've been neglecting a massive part of the gaming you know core for decades it's really been that long decades and i gotta say like thank you nintendo and thank you bethesda for for being so appreciative like you just don't see this like saying thank you to nintendo nintendo probably saying thank you back to them whether it's publicly or behind closed doors it's just amazing to me to see how quickly third-party relationships seem to have turned around with nintendo and their latest system uh going from what was the wii u that really just solidified why third-party companies shouldn't come to switch or shouldn't come to Wii U at the time, and then just flipping the script entirely with Switch, all the marketing being towards adults, releasing games that, yeah, they have appeal outside of adults, but adults are really going to care about it. You know, like even Super Mario Odyssey, which has, you know, that family appeal to it, it the, the way the game was built and the way the game was presented was in a way that was going to appeal to adults today that played Mario decades ago. So this is just amazing, and I couldn't be happier at what this is going to mean for 2018. I know it's just one company, but we've seen so many third-party companies after these financial calls praising Nintendo, excited about the performance of their games on the platform, proving that, yes, there is an audience for these games. It really only seems right now that EA, of all companies, has kind of missed the boat here um, and, and being extremely judgmental and very cautious and potentially abandoning the system, but whatever, that's EA, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, whatever, we don't need EA games, and I disagree, but you know what, if we're still getting Bethesda, if we're getting 2K and Rockstar games, if we're getting Square Enix, Ubisoft, if we start seeing full support, and we're getting, like, all the Call of Duties, and, you know, heck, whatever like any game pretty much any game out there if we're getting all these games ported getting the overwatch over there uh just i'm so excited kingdom hearts 3 really come on let's get it let's make it done we're getting wolfenstein 2 the new colossus which i am pumped to buy on switch it's just i'm so excited that it appears that the primary console i want to play on that i have the most time to play on is finally going to have a majority of the games that I actually want to play. Not just from Nintendo and Indies, but from third-party companies. The whole reason that I own an Xbox One is because these games were not coming to the Switch, and sometimes these games did not play very well on PC because they were made for consoles first, ported the PC, and the PC versions ended up not being that great. So I would play them on Xbox One, and you would be like, why didn't you get a PlayStation 4, Nate? I like the controller. That's really all there is to it. I, and I know you can make Xbox controllers work on PlayStation 4 and vice versa. But I just, I don't know. I, if I'm going to own a Japanese, you know, console to me, it's always been Nintendo. And then I'd buy the American console. So it's just how I've always done it. And I have no regrets about it. I, I, I'm going to get an Xbox One X here eventually as well. Uh, and I do plan to get a PlayStation 4 Pro. I, I want to get the, the trifecta, complete the Triforce of home consoles. But I am just super, super stoked about this and what this means for the future of third-party support on Switch and with Nintendo and building these relationships that even though the X blows the, blows the crap out of the Switch in terms of raw power capabilities, and even though the PlayStation 5 might be two years out or whatever the case may be, I don't think Nintendo's going to be left behind if they're fostering these relationships and proving that the sales are there and that having the bleeding edge visuals are not the only way to sell your games. You can cut back on settings, cut back on resolution if you need to, and still sell a game because it's extremely compelling regardless of resolution, uh, regardless of graphic fidelity. And I'm, I'm just excited about the prospects of that. Anyways, folks, you guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Ruppeljans from nintendo prime and if you like this video you know what to do and if you dislike the video hit that dislike button subscribe for more content and i will catch you in the next one